Hello, friends of Piggy! Welcome back to another episode of Piggyverse, a video series where we explain all things related to Piggy so you won't have to ask around. We're releasing a new episode each week, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on them. Today, we will be giving you a brief tutorial on how to use the admin dashboard on Piggy.gg. We recognize that not everyone is an admin of a Discord server, but as Piggy servers are growing rapidly, we thought it would be beneficial to put this video together now so that the current admins and future admins have a better understanding. First thing first, where is the admin dashboard? You can find the dashboard on Piggy.gg website. Simply visit the website and click on My Dashboard on the top right corner. Once you click on My Dashboard, you should see a list of all Discord servers that you're an admin of. Choose a server that you would like to view and make changes to. Once you have chosen your server, you should land on the main dashboard page. Piggy isn't a very complicated bot to use. There's only a few things that you can change and manipulate, and we're going to go over one by one together. Look on the left side of the dashboard, and you will see a panel with different menus. Click on configurations, and it will drop down three different items that you can change. Language option lets you choose the language for your Piggy setup. We have nine languages available for Piggy right now, and we will be adding more in the future. Just choose the language that you and the server is most comfortable with. Commands section allows you to select specific channels where Piggy commands would work on your server. Unless you want Piggy commands to work on all available channels, you should target and select a few channels here. Then feel free to customize the prefix for your Piggy commands in the section below. The default prefix is this right here, but you can be creative and make your own. Then we have the announcement section. Here you can select a channel where automated piggy announcements will be posted. Announcements include daily chest drop, surprise chest drop, piggy update notes, and bunch of other piggy related news. The second item on the left panel is levels. This is where you can set up things related to piggy leveling. Auto roll assignment is where you can set up cool piggy rolls for players that reach certain levels. For example, you can set Piggy Master for level 10, and everyone that reaches Piggy level 10 will automatically receive the Piggy Master role. You can have multiple roles added here, so have fun with it. Ignore Leveling is where you can set up a specific channel or role that will not receive any XP on Piggy activities. For example, if you want to block your mods from getting Piggy XP, this is the place to set it up. In messaging section, you can limit how many XP generating messages that your members can send in Piggy channels each minute. Remember, any messages sent in your server generate XP. So if you want to limit the XP generating messages, this is the place to do so. You can also manipulate how much XP is generated per each message here. Announcement configuration lets you customize the message that the members will receive upon leveling. You can also set how often the announcement will be sent, every level, every other level, and so on. The next two items on the left panel, RPG and Battles and Intelligence, simply tell you about different features that Piggybot has. So just read it up and you're good to go. The last item on the panel is Leaderboard. Here you can view the leaderboard of all Piggies in your server. You can also get a URL of the leaderboard so you can share it and post it in your server or anywhere else. Hope this video helps you understand how to utilize your dashboard better. Feel free to leave a question or suggestions in the comments section. We will see you in the next episode.